Hi guys, what's up, Jason here, and welcome back to another episode of my FIFA 17 Road to Glory. So just like in every episode, I ask you guys to ask me questions so I can talk about them while you look at the gameplay in the background. So the first question today comes from Chili Plays, and he asks, do you think there should be less games of foot champs to be played? If so, how many and why? And yes, I do think there should be less games of foot champs. I think 40 games is just way too much and way too time consuming. And especially, you know, your average person, they don't have this amount of time to play 40 matches. So that's why most people, except YouTubers and people who have a lot of spare time, are, are the only type of people who are actually able to play all 40 matches. And I think a good... Like, you can't make it too easy so people can just, you know, easily get a really good rewards. But I would say probably 20 to 25 matches would be perfect for foot champs. Um, and I don't, or maybe they should have foot champs for the whole of the week and then, like, not have it on the weekend instead. So, yeah, you could either have 40 matches, have it on the week for the whole of the week, so you five days, or you could change it to 20 to 25 games. I think that would be very good from EA. So after that, the next question comes from Adrian Nilsson, and he asks, what team slash teams do you support, and which player is your favourite player in real life? So I'm actually a Villa supporter, and if you don't know where Villa are from, they're actually from Birmingham, and that's the reason I support them, just because I'm from Birmingham, and they're a local team. So yeah, that's the team I support, and I've actually supported them all my life, so yeah. And then my favourite player in real life is Neymar. Um... I just like him because he's a very skillful player, very interesting to watch and you know he's just enjoyable when you see him on the pitch performing skills and just beating defenders is a very enjoyable player to watch. But my favourite player ever is um, Ronaldinho, just again just because of the amount of skills he used to do and he was just so good and um, yeah so my favourite player ever is Ronaldinho, my current favourite player is Neymar and then I support Aston Villa. So the next question comes from Footwatch Football, and he asked me, um, when did you start playing FIFA? So I actually started playing FIFA probably in, I'd say FIFA 10 or 11, I started playing FIFA, but I actually had it on the PSP and I didn't actually get an Xbox until FIFA 13, and that's also when I started to play Ultimate Team, but I did actually have FIFA 12 as well on the Xbox, um, so yeah, I actually played FIFA 12, that was the first FIFA I ever played um, on the Xbox. So yeah, probably like officially started on console, I'd say FIFA 12 or FIFA 13. So and as well as that he says, what do you think they're going to do for 8 years of foot? And I'm just recording this 2 or 3 hours before they actually officially announce what they're going to do for foot birthday. But you know, going on previous years, I think they're probably going to give us 3 packs. I don't know if they're going to give us like one big 3 pack today and then just no more 3 pack for the rest of the week. Or they might do what they did last year, you know, give us a 5k pack on Monday, 7.5k pack on Tuesday. Then I think it's a 15k pack on Wednesday, 25k pack on Thursday, and then on Friday we get ourselves a free 50k pack. So hopefully, in my opinion, because I'm very impatient, you know, I just want them to give us the free 50k pack tonight. And that would be very good for my main account and Road to Glory especially. And so yeah, and I also think they're definitely going to release a few more SBCs. Um, I don't really know how they're going to sort of choose the players and decide who's going to be in the SBCs, but you know, hopefully they're going to release some SBC cards. And then the final thing as well, I think they're going to, you know, release promo packs. Well, of course they're going to release promo packs because EA just love money. So yeah, that's what I think EA are going to do for the foot birthday. So for the majority of this video, um, there is a quite a lot of gameplay, but there also is quite a lot of the bronze pack method. So yeah, the, what, this is like a really good method to make coins this year. Um, you know, it's very effective. You're always guaranteed to make profit, and it's also a very good way to help stack up, you know, consumables in your club because you get the fitness cards, um, you get contracts, and then you're able to sell, sell all the players eventually for profit. So if you're not able to do foot champs, my opinion. The best way to make coins is the bronze pack method, and as you'll see at the end of this video as well, we go and make like 10k profit just from the bronze pack method, and we actually do go and pack ourselves an inform, as you can probably already tell from the title. Now getting into SBCs, um, the only SBCs that I probably will be doing on this account is either if it's a SBC for a 5 star skiller and I have the correct amount of coins and is a 5 star skiller I'm interested in, um, and I'll be doing like, you know, the marquee matchups. And maybe a few of like, I think it's called the advanced and um, basic SBCs. I'll, I'll tr be trying to complete all of those eventually. But I'm not really that interested in doing the lead league SBCs or player of the month for, um, SBCs just for the sake of doing them. So yeah, the probably the only player SBCs I'll be doing is um, for 5 star skillers. Or maybe if it's just a player I really like. Like if Ericsson maybe, if he gets a player of the month 
I would potentially do that if we do manage to get the form somehow. So yeah, because he's like one of my favourite players on this game. So the next thing I did want to go and talk about is the upload schedule. So at the moment, as you know, I'm double uploading, what's very good. Um, you know, and the support on the end of the series so far has been absolutely amazing. So just want to say a big thanks to you guys for that. So yeah, I'm going to try and upload this at least once every day, um, starting tomorrow. You know, I, I'm doing these double uploads today just because of the foot birthday. So yeah, I just want to, like, I don't want you guys to get too far behind in the road to glory. So as you can see there, guys, after winning that match 2-0, we have three points in Division 8. And then after that, as you can see, the bronze packs that I opened at the start of the video, we've gone and made some really nice profits. So here I am just tr um, clearing out my transfer list. So just clearing out a few players there. As you can see, the prices they went for. And then I go and relist a few more players. Then after doing this, I go back into the bronze pack method. And you will see us go and pack ourselves our first in form of this series. And actually, I've been spamming the bronze pack on my main account now, probably since the start of FIFA. And I actually haven't managed to get myself an in form. And then basically the first few bronze packs I do go and open on this account, I managed to get an inform. So I think this account is just so good for pack luck. As you saw in the second episode, I think it was, when I packed myself Walkout Aguero. Um, he was actually my highest rated player of actually packed this year as well. So yeah, and in so far, as you've seen, he's been a very vital to this series and helping us get off to an amazing start. So now getting back into the topic of the foot birthday. As you may or may not know, last year EA actually released some position change players as well. And the reason they do this, they release players into packs who play a different position for their international team compared to their domestic teams. So for example, Ronaldo plays striker a lot of the time for his Port for um, Portugal, whereas he plays left wing most of the time for Real Madrid. And the same with Bale, I think they released him as a striker card last year because he actually plays striker for um, Wales quite a lot of the time. So hopefully they will do that again this year. And as you can see now in the background, we do go and pack ourselves that in form. You get that Irish striker there. Um, not the best in form, but you can't really expect a good in form from a bronze pack. I actually decided to send him to my club at first because my transfer list was actually full and I was so happy to get that player just because it means that, you know, it really helps us um, get closer and closer to building that second fitness team. You know, at the moment, I'm just doing this to get enough coins so I can go and build that second fitness team. Um, it's definitely going to be a skill squad, as I've already said. It's probably most likely going to be a Calcio A squad. And we've already got Inform Benega on loan for a few matches, the same as in um, normal Al Sharari. So yeah, we've already got a few players in our club that we can start building that Calcio A team around. So what I was thinking, I was thinking of putting Niang at striker. Um, probably going to go with Quadrado if we can get the coins for him at right mid. Then I'm probably going to go with like a really sweaty, overpowered Serie A defence, or Calcio A defence, sorry, I keep forgetting they've changed the name of the league. So yeah, I'm probably going to go with that sort of team, and maybe Asamoah at centre mid, you know, just for the four-star skill moves. I'm not really looking to build like a really competitive team, rather just a fun, enjoyable team that's very good for scaling with. So yeah, anyway guys, if you have got, have got any suggestions for a team, tell me in the comment section below and just send me the foothead link as well, maybe on Twitter, because I don't know if links are actually blocked in the YouTube comment section. So yeah, if you're not able to send me it in the comments, just send me it on Twitter at JCMAquablueYT. So the next thing I do go and do is relist some of the players who didn't sell. I go into my club and I do actually decide to go and list up that in form. Just because we're very short on coins at the moment and every coin is very vital at the start of this series. So he does go and sell basically straight away. So anyway guys, this is going to be the end of the video. If you have enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and bye.